Well, it's that time of year. The time of year you start to ask your children, your grandchildren, your mates, uh, what, what do you want for Christmas? What kind of gift can I get you? Or you may be like me, you may have a hard time deciding, well, there's a lot of people that I'd like to share with this Christmas. So I wonder what I'll get for someone for Christmas. And then I get the emails from my daughter and my son, you know, what do you want for Christmas? My wife says to me, what do you want for Christmas? My wife says, what are we going to put in the kids' stockings for stocking stuffers? Uh, today on the program on television, they uh, mentioned a number of gifts that are toys that are just basically unavailable. The reason they're unavailable is because some uh, clever entrepreneurs uh, purchased in bulk uh, some of the most popular toys at regular prices. Now they're selling them at Amazon and eBay for five to ten times what they paid for them. Seems a shame that some child can't get a little toy that they wanted uh, at a reasonable price and some parents are foolish enough to pay these hijackers uh, who bought these bulk quantities of these toys. Be poetic justice if nobody responded. They get stuck with all of those toys at full retail price and nobody wanted to pay the premium. It's really quite interesting as we come into this Christmas season how much emphasis is put on gifts. But in James chapter 1, verse 17, it says, Every good and perfect gift is from above. And that's true, isn't it? Every good and perfect gift is from above. Certainly, number one on the list has to be salvation. Certainly, nothing better than salvation. Because it's not temporal. It won't break. It doesn't require batteries and... Uh, that gift is a gift that uh, no one can take from us. Nobody can break into the house, take, uh, break into a window and get out from under the tree a gift because the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ can't be stolen, can't be taken away from us. Uh, the second gift, I think, would probably be good health. Now, all of us would certainly like to have good health, and yet, Sometimes we have to realize that God uses illness as a way of bringing about change in our lives and causing us to appreciate more the things that we have. But there's no question we all like good health. We all like not to suffer, not to have pain. One of my neighbors stopped by just a little while ago as I was working up the right on the top of the driveway. and. Uh, he said he'd have, have to have shoulder surgery. Now, here's a fellow that's been over a year in John Hopkins uh, or uh, Walter Reed Hospital, I guess it was, uh, because he served our country in Iraq and Afghanistan and was badly wounded there. Now he's going to have to have shoulder surgery. I'm sure for Christmas what he'd like is a shoulder that didn't need surgery. And yet every good and perfect gift is from above. God gives perfect gifts. And this is a time of year when we ought to remember that the greatest gift of all is the gift of eternal life. And if our friends already have that, a true friendship is a much better gift than any gift card or any amount of money. A true friendship that says, I'll pray for you, that I care about you, that I'll do what I need to do for you because you're my friend. So as you think about this Christmas season and perhaps you think about gifts that you can't afford to buy for your friends, why not just be a friend? Why not pray for them? Why not show them through your actions that you really do love and care about them? That's my thought for the day. I hope it's your thought for the day too. God bless you. Have a great day.